Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Before we get into our six move workout today, we're gonna do six moves. We're gonna give you actually a three minute warm up and then a six move hit training that's gonna be able to be done in literally 20 minutes. And then also you guys, you're gonna be able to do this again, as always, no gym required and actually minimal to no equipment. Let's go over the moves we're gonna do. Our six moves today are a squat press, a thread the needle, a sumo squat with punch, push-ups, a split lunge knee, and then a plank jack, all right guys? So squat press, thread the needle, sumo squat with a punch, push-ups, split lunge knee, and plank jack. Let me show you these six moves so we can get our workouts done. All right, you guys, squat press, super simple. You can do this with two different tools. One, you can do it with weights, just like these. You can do eight pounds, 10 pounds, whatever you feel comfortable with. Most important is that your form is correct. Have left feet hip width apart. You're just gonna go down. I'm gonna first just show you from a squat. We're just gonna go down into a squat, okay? But in your case, we're gonna have these weights right here. We're gonna go here, press up, back down, press up. So we're going from a squat to an overhead press. And you notice my hands go from here and then they turn up so that they're turned, all right? So that's a squat press. All right, thread the needle. This is a little bit unique. We're gonna go into a side plank and I'm gonna show you how to do this. You guys, this takes balance, it takes time. So don't be hard on yourself if you're not able to do it straight away. But again, we're gonna thread the needle. So we're going into a side, make sure you guys can see me, side plank, okay? For those that are more advanced, you can have your feet on top of each other. If you're not, just balance yourself with one foot in front of the other, if you guys can see that. All we're doing is hand is up, and we're gonna reach through, back up, reach through. All right, that is thread the needle. So hopefully you guys saw that, that's thread the needle. Our next move is a sumo squat punch. Super easy, no equipment necessary. Feet again are going wide this time for your sumo squat. Again, wide, and if you can notice, my feet are pointed out on a bit of a diagonal. So we're gonna go down into a deep sumo squat, you guys, and all we're doing is we're staying right here. Keep your hips and your legs just in alignment, go down as deep as you can, and we're just gonna punch, 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 punch. Okay, this is what we want. All right, so super simple, sumo squat punch is our next move, that's number three. Number four is a push up. You guys, do not be crazy upset with yourself if you cannot crank out 20 push ups at first. We're gonna show you two modifications. The only place I'm gonna challenge you guys is to really think, do standard push up for five, then do modified push up, go back to standard for five, do modified. Because you guys, you are stronger than you put your, or than you think. So, push past that button in your mind. You guys can do this. All right. So standard push up. I'm going to show you from a side because it's easier. All right. We're just going to do a standard push up. Or your modifier. Again, you make sure that, that torso and that your butt is down. Right. Back up. All right, so move number four is a push up. Move number five is a split lunge knee. We did something similar to this last week. We're gonna have your feet about hip width apart so it helps with your balance. You're gonna do all 20 on one leg first, then you're gonna switch and you're gonna do 20 on the other leg. Let me show you what this looks like. Again, split lunge, you're gonna go down, 
into a backwards lunge. Your knee is just going to tap. You're going to come up, but when you come up, you're going to crunch down and lift your knee. Down, crunch, down, crunch. Oops, see? Balance is hard, you guys. So again, you're just going to keep those legs down, crunch. All right, you're going to do 20 on the right leg, 20 on the left leg. Last move, plank jack. I'm going to show you from a front and side profile on this. You're going to go into a standard plank. You guys can see, I'm going to keep my head down so you can see. My feet are going to go out like a jack. Back in, out, in. I'm going to show you from the side. Plank, legs apart, legs together. And that is our plank jack. All right, guys, so your warm-up is going to be three-minute cardio warm-up. Your three-minute cardio warm-up can consist of a one-minute jack, a one-minute toe tap, and a one-minute high knee. It could be jump rope, jack, high knees. Whatever it is, it's three minutes of intense cardio to get your heart rate pumping. Then you're going to do a 20-second break, and we're going to go right into this circuit. Again, your circuit is squat press for 20 reps. Thread the needle. It's 10 thread the needles on each side. So you're going to flip that plank to the other side, and you're going to do 10 on each side. You're going to do sumo squat punch, 40 punches. Each punch counts as one. You're going to do 20 push-ups. And again, remember, guys, I'm challenging you. Do five um, modified, five standard. Five modified, five standard. You guys can do this. You're stronger than you think. The fifth move is a split lunge to that knee crunch. Again, split lunge to the knee crunch. You're going to do 15 on each side. 15 on each side. And then your last move is a plank jack. And you're going to do 20 plank jacks. I want you guys to do this circuit three times through. Again, three times through. So you're going to go through all six moves. And then you're going to take a small one minute break. And then you're going to crunch through it again. Next six moves, one minute break. Boom, six moves and you are done. You'll be done in less than 30 minutes. In fact, you should be done in less than 20 minutes if you guys are pushing through move to move so you're letting that heart rate stay up elevated. You're gonna be burning calories, you guys. You're gonna be getting strong because all these moves have some level of resistance in them. You, you guys, this workout is gonna kick your butt. So again, six moves. You're gonna start with a three minute cardio crunch through this circuit three times, and I hope you guys love it. I will post in the details of the comments exactly how many reps and remind you how many times you're going through these circuits. Like this post, you guys, share it. Make sure you remember, if you like it, you share it. You can send it back to yourself and it saves into your history so that if you wanna push play tomorrow and do it, you can do it tomorrow instead of today if you've got a different workout going. I hope you guys are liking these circuits. Please, again, let me know if there's something you want to see. I want to make sure I'm bringing you guys something new every single day that you can do at home, no gym required, before the kids get up so you can get your workout in and done, no excuses. Have an amazing day, you guys, and as always, love ya.